LEA's Arena joined by head coach Dave Davis of the Newberry Wolves. Newberry wins this afternoon, 101-72. They beat the Brevard Tornadoes. Coach, as always, thank you for taking time. Congratulations on a win this afternoon. First thing I want to get your comment about is you sh your team shot very well from the floor, 53% for the game. You know, we really can shoot the basketball, Gary, and uh, we haven't been doing that necessarily every game. But, uh, you know, I see these guys all the time, and I would say, you know, it's got a chance to be one of the best shooting teams uh, that I've had, and we, we, uh, we've been getting great shots. I've been really pleased with our unselfishness and our ability to get each other wide open shots, but we haven't always delivered, but we certainly did tonight. I mean, 17 for 36 from the three-point line is, uh, is something I think this team is capable of on a regular basis. It appears to me, Dave, and I want, want you to correct me <coughs> if I'm wrong, th this team up to this point, they don't seem to be in a hurry. They don't seem to panic, don't seem to be rushing shots. Well, much more mature, I think, uh, Gary, than we've been. Uh, we, we do have some veteran uh, play here. You know, our, all of these kids that are juniors and seniors have been playing a ton since they've been freshmen, and I think that, uh, that experience is really helping us. And then... Um, uh, I thought Dondre Walker looked like Dondre Walker for the first time this season, and that certainly makes a big difference. And he's, uh, you know, he's basically an unguardable guy, and he was that way tonight. Um, and that certainly gives us a lift on the offensive end of the floor. It is a cliche, but it is applicable, and I'll say it. Dondre Walker had a quiet 17 points tonight. <laughs> yes. I looked down, and I thought maybe he had 10. You know, 17 points in 16 minutes, and uh, uh, even his misses tonight, you know, went in and out. So he, he really did. Uh, in fact, uh, yesterday at practice, I said that's the, that's the first time he's looked like Dondre Walker. He's just, you know, he hasn't played basketball in, in about three months, and uh, we're, we're, he's played more in games uh, than he has in practice. And, um, you know, I think his high minute game is maybe 20 at this point. So it's. It's good to see him uh, uh, coming back and playing around uh, like he can. I thought we had an unbelievable crowd uh, here today. It was our first home game. You know, we only have one home game, I think, in our first seven. So this was a special day for our guys, and they, uh, they got excited about playing at home. It was, I'm sure, uh, really fun for them to see this incredible crowd and the crowd having a good time with it. And, uh, you know, that's what we've been building toward. We've got to get a home court advantage, and uh, I thought we, uh, we did a great job protecting our house today. I know coaches are always going right back to the drawing board. I don't want to turn negative, but would you like to see more offensive rebounding from your team? Well, you know, you got to miss in order to offensive rebound, so I'll take makes. Uh, over offensive rebounding every game. And uh, what we've been doing when we've been having these 16 to 20 offensive rebounding games is we've been missing a whole bunch. So we had way more opportunities. But uh, uh, I, think we did, uh, I think we did a good job uh, on the backboards uh, uh, today. thought we did a good job defensively. We can be great uh, defensively, and we can be great rebounders. So we will, we will work toward that. I thought Mitch Riggs was... Uh, again, just just unbelievable. 21 points in 20 minutes uh, for Mitch tonight. I mean, he just he's he's got this um, uh, all out all the time uh, playing um, with just incredible intensity and confidence right now, uh, and that's fantastic. And then James Step is a kid that can really really shoot the basketball, and he has not shot it until today. But you saw the kind of shooter that that he is, going five for eight from three, and. Um, you know, just another guy that our opponents are going to have to look at in guard. And uh, uh, you and I have talked about this. It makes us a very difficult team to scout, a uh, very difficult team to, um, you know, really try to try to uh, uh, rely or, or, or lean toward any one guy on our team when, when we have so many different guys who can score the basketball. Speaking of which, literally everyone scored today but Gerald Evans, everybody who touched the ball. Yeah, and he had eight rebounds. Right. Which tells you the character of Gerald Evans. I mean, uh, um, uh, five foot four and eight rebounds. It's not the first time he has done that, and uh, he was just everywhere. Uh, four steals, five assists. Uh, you know, he understands the game of basketball. Our ki our kids really do not get caught up in statistics, uh, except in the win column. That's a pretty important one, and and I thought Gerald was a great example of that today. I love your quote about head coach Rob Perrin. You've heard that name before, the head coach at Catawba. I read your quote when he was named head coach. You said, I wish him success every game except two when he plays us. So that's who you'll see on Tuesday. Yeah, that'll be a weird one for sure. He knows us uh, inside and out. He was a tremendous, tremendous help in building 
uh, this Newberry basketball program. And, uh, uh, you know, just like my brother, as you know, so that will be a really weird one for me uh, personally. And, and I'll love him uh, before and I'll love him after. But during, we'll, uh, we'll try to take care of business. All right, head coach Dave Davis of the Newberry Wolves, Newberry Beats Brevard today, 101-72. to As always, thank you. Hope to see you Tuesday night. Thank you, Gary. I'll be back and wrap it up after this 30-second break on WKDK.